What is up? I'm Wanna Turtle, and today we have another 151 opening. We're doing another UPC, and this is for our patron Ty. Uh, Ty, thanks for sponsoring this video. And um, haven't. This is a very solid product, but I suspect, like the Charizard UPC, it's been printed quite a lot. And actually, I don't know what like ETBs are going for, but it wouldn't surprise me if like this becomes the um, thing to open. I guess we'll see how where like the promos end up price-wise. Um, obviously, you don't get as many like packs per dollar, but I think the promos probably make up for that. And uh, yeah, so show everybody. I love how they did the promos, the layout. Actually, it's not our first video for the UPC, uh, but the way everything is set up is just beautiful. A lot of cool stuff. I'm gonna switch out probably the the play mat that you guys see in a little bit. We got a nice deck box, and uh, yeah, 16 packs. Uh, we're not gonna be <laughs> not really complaint, but the promos are a little bit hard to get out, and the metal cards i don't know i feel like they never had great print quality but here we go best of luck ty um so far let's see we're doing pretty good we finally pulled like a stage two starter uh it was the venusaur so the the weakest of the three i would say but uh, hopefully we can get something real nice we're gonna just do the pack trick because i feel like we've seen all the commons uncommons plenty of times at this point Ghastly into a ditto for pack number one. We do have a reverse energy. We'll sleeve this later. All right, and move on to pack number two. Hope everyone's doing well. And um, yeah, as you can see, I'm kind of bundled up. I have like a hoodie and a vest on in um, upstate New York. It's kind of a little cold this week. And actually, I'm curious if you're somewhere where it's, you know, where you have like a winter. Well, what, at what point do you turn on the, the heat? I feel like it's still pretty early in the fall. So I'm being a little, uh, you know, it's like, oh no, we're not turning on the heat yet. And it's more, it's almost like it's like a date threshold for me, <laughs> less so than like a temperature threshold. Uh, it is quite cold. All right, pack number three, nothing to show for this box yet. And, uh, ooh, Charmander. I think, um... I would love to just obviously hit one of these god packs like even just to say we did it you know even if it's like the venusaur line oh ooh. here we go we got the mew to go with the mew promo and i feel like the centering looks pretty good very nice but yeah once again very solid solid product in my opinion and uh, for myself, if I were to look to crack packs, yeah, I think I would just open more of these. Um, let's see, I think, I feel like for the price, you know, you maybe you're shorted compared to like pack, pack ratio. The number of packs you get compared to the ETB is not as good, but I think the promo makes up for that. A gold duck. So I'm not sure if you can ever get something in this first reverse slot unless you get those God packs. Uh, so I wonder if the appropriate ooh, Venusaur EX to wait not a bad pack nothing crazy, but Again good hit ratio Wonder if the proper way to do this is we'll save this later is to actually have Put that behind like the Just so you don't it's like less spoiled so to speak so kind of like, like That I guess oh wait, man, we have to move them to the front so then if you see, actually, if you see like a stage one, it's not still obvious that you have something, but then we'll keep the rare in the back. We got an Alexam EX, good hit ratio. We got three of these special energies. Uh, while I am happy with that Mew, uh, definitely not worth the price of admission. So yeah, I'm very happy with this product. I do feel like, you know, Pokemon, do, they do get some things right. Um, not <laughs> the Van Gogh thing. I will always be be sour about that whole situation. Just uh, being one of the many people that did not get anything uh, just feels bad. Although I do know someone that lives in the Netherlands and they were able to go to the museum. Uh, everything was sold out, but they did pick up a couple 
promos and one of the there were two of them and they got teacher promo so they said i could have one uh so while i'm totally happy about that i'm still disappointed with how the sale went and when they're there they said oh there's a there is a line for for the merch um but not, nothing they had came with the promo, but I did get my hopes up. I was like, oh, so you're saying there's a chance that they might have some stuff. Ooh, another full art. I feel like the full arts, um, sometimes the the backgrounds pop. And I do think this set, there are some good ones. Muse, obviously, in the very opposite direction. But this and the, I think the Zapdos have this like nice light blue that really makes the Pokemon pop. So I li do like that. We will grab a sleeve for him. Let's take this, check the centering first. So yeah, quite nice, nice hit ratio so far. Center, I feel like it's pretty good. How about this corner right here? Mm, I don't think, I would not advise to get this graded, but I feel like it is pretty good. All right, last pack of the first half. Yeah, very solid hit ratio. This feels, this feels like more like a regular special set, like Crown Zenith or something like that. Voltorb, Drio into a very cute Chansey. All right, let's get to half number two. So yeah, it, I do feel like it. you do have to like perform careful surgery to get these out. Maybe there's like a specific order of operations to get them out easily. I think I ended up cutting, you know, with, with a good amount of clearance, obviously to not damage the card. Uh, but to get him out, but it seems it's pretty well put together, which is good and bad, I guess. Hitmon Lee. Grabber, what are you? Your opponent reveals their hand, put a Pokemon you find in the bottom of their deck. Huh, that's interesting. Into a Flareon. Another reverse energy. But yeah, I do. Uh, one last comment about the full arts, because I do think they look nice, but I feel like the art of the Pokemon looks kind of basic. Uh, like a simple 3D modeling kind of thing on the Pokemon, uh, but the backgrounds I think are pretty good. A Bills transfer, Santru into a Marowak. I think of the Full Art supporters, at this point I have opened a few of these UPCs off camera, and I think the only supporter we haven't pulled is the Alt Art Erica, um, and we pulled like a bunch on and off the channel a bunch of the regular full art erica but not the alt art one persian i'm not sure if i've seen I, I think it would be cool to have in a very doable to have like the full reverse set for the binder the 151 binder um but i think that might be the first time we've seen that persian in the reverse slot all right so we still got a few packs remaining yeah nothing too crazy so far but um oh my gosh <laughs> Wait, I did this. Okay, so this isn't, I don't think this is the God Pack, but wow, Ty. <laughs> so Ty actually got one of these already in a whatnot purchase. Now, I'm guessing that this would be the last card, but if we see a Charmander under here, oh, or a Charmeleon, we, then we, we, we did it. Then we got the God Pack. Oh, it's just a horsey one. <laughs> Congratulations. There we go. Oh my gosh, another. All right, this box is absolutely insane. Congratulations. Let's take a look at what we have here. Ooh, bad centering. A nice PSA 9. <laughs> that centering is so bad. Like, I don't think this would ever drop it down to an 8, but congratulations. A very off center. Beautiful Charizard. Okay, this is definitely the best product we've opened so far or yes best sale product opened so far for 151 congrats and um yeah i mean you got the the muse the mewtwo and the charizard what more could you ask for <laughs> congratulations and this pack trick did not work out the way i meant it to oh tangela this art is all right this this opening is insane and i'm jumping all over the place i know we should be celebrating the charizard still but that alt art is so nice i don't know it's just it's just fun, you know, like the the Mr. Mime, I feel like was really good. And this thing is just so cute. Like, you know, I, uh, at one point with the tag teams and a wig, oh my gosh, uh, with the tag teams, they had like the Pokemon fighting for like the alt arts, which was cool. Um, or actually they were, they were on the same team, but it looks like they're, they're fighting. Or I think there were definitely some cards where they were just 
they were like battling something, but I feel like I have high appreciation for these ones just, you know, hanging out, having a good time, enjoying life. And, uh, oh my gosh, look, look at all these hits. This is like a one, or, eh, we shouldn't include the, um, the energies, but we will include the, the regular EXs. That's like, I don't know, 62 thirds hit ratio or something insane with the Zard? Congrats, Ty. <laughs> Seriously. All right, we got a reverse Gyarados. That might have been another hard one to get for the uh, reverse collection. Then just a regular energy. And it doesn't even matter. You, we already hit the home run. Uh, I think one thing that's... It is kind of hard to tell the quality of promos, but that's not a big deal. Um, but like, it's kind of like if you want to keep one of these just for the cool display, it's like, oh, you wouldn't want to keep one that's perfectly well-centered and it's basically impossible to tell for the Mew and Mewtwo. A big air balloon into an Eevee and Aerodactyl. Doesn't, doesn't matter. All right, last pack. We do not need last pack magic, but I bet we'll get it anyway. <laughs> That's the way this video is going. Oh, I'm so happy that we pulled that Charizard. That is amazing. All right, Seedra into a Doug Trio into a Amistar. Oh, all right. This is like the real nice hit. Actually, I just want to do a quick count because ha what a wow, what a video. All right. So actually, it, it's, it's just shy of half with five reverse energies as far as the hit ratio. So if that 60, ignore what I said before. Actually, no, we, we were only so far through the box. But look at that. Wow, that that's really good. Um, I love how obviously like the the evolution the line it just goes like he's charmander's just sitting in the canyon i don't remember charmander because we haven't uh we haven't pulled that or i haven't seen one in person uh but then like the blastoise where eventually ends up in the water the venusaur is a little less exciting uh but still very cool this this alt art era you know i think the interesting thing is like post actually the whole tag team thing i think will just do well because it's unique uh but that whole era of like rainbows and stuff like that where like that was like the chase and then for a while they, they played with the gold thing you know that was just that was the max rarity at the time and it's just like this is just so much better that i don't know i feel like i've heard some people argue that oh the sword and shield era will go down really well and age well and i'm not sure i just agree with that that was like the end of uh that's about when this whole rainbow and gold thing was that was what we were looking for and at the end of the day it's just not that great uh there were some alt arts for sure actually i guess that was toward, technically towards end of sun and moon but um yeah anyway <laughs> long story short congrats ty uh awesome opening that's gonna be it for me today thanks for watching i'm one of turtle I'll catch y'all next time peace